Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make a glass bowl in Blender. This is going to be a beginner tutorial, so it should be pretty easy for everyone to follow. So let's get started. Now you want to start off by switching to Cycles for better shading. So click on Blender Render and switch to Cycles Render. And then we're going to click X to delete the cube. So click X and then you want to go and add a UV sphere. And we're going to bump up the segments to 200 and the rings to 100 to make it higher resolution. Okay, so now we're going to go into the settings, into the modifiers. And we're going to make it solid so that it has some thickness. So click add modifier and then go to solidify. And then just bump up the thickness to about 0 0.025. And then click smooth to make the all smoother. Now we're going to add a plane. Click plane and click G, then set, then minus one to grab it on the set axis, minus one. If you want to zoom out, you can just use the mouse wheel to look further away and then click S to scale and left click to confirm. Select the lamp with right click and go into the settings and increase the size to two. Then click use nodes and increase strength to 3500 to make it strong enough. Okay, so now we have the lighting and the um, objects we need. So now we're going to start adding materials. And we can start off by making the world a little bit darker. And then go into rendered. And we can start adding materials. So I'm going to start off with a ball and switch to uh, a glass shading or shader and as you can see we now have some glass in our object and you can change the color to whatever you want you can make it maybe give it a little bit of color it doesn't have to be very strong but just a little bit so that it's still transparent if you want to go into the camera you can just click numpad zero on your keyboard and then select the camera with the right click and I click shift F to go into fly cam mode. And then you can move around the scene with W, A, S, N, D. Just like in a video game, basically. And I position it here and I'm going to add a material to the floor as well. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of color. Make it darker. And it's actually starting to look nice now. You can choose whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. Mm, I think I like this color. And I'm going to move the camera a little bit again with fly cam. And you can always do this with shift F. And I'm just trying to position the camera better. So that we get all the shading and everything into the picture. Yeah, I think this looks nice. Okay, so now we can start going to this, go into the settings and make it ready for rendering. So increase the quality to 100%. And then if you want to, you can increase the sampling as well as uh, the clamp indirect to three. I'm gonna make the samples, let's say 300 to make the render higher quality. And I'm just going to click render. And now we're just going to speed up the rendering process. It's probably going to take some time on your computer. So I'm just going to speed it up. And as you can see, the render is finished. Now, before we um, end this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to save the rendered image. So just go to save as image. And then choose whatever location you want to save it on. I'm just going to save it on the desktop and give it whatever name you want. I'm going to name it glass.png. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, just go to my channel. I post two tutorials every single week in this format, so I hope you like it and thanks for watching.